I've just been sitting here waiting for my blood pack to harden. My cosmetologist said I was starting to look a little lifeless. <laughs> Much better, eh? Which reminds me, tonight's poison parable is about a couple who take their appearance very seriously. Needless to say, they're going to end up trying to save face. I call this one, Judy, you're not yourself today. Son of my darling, who the devil are you talking to? I'm sitting head and hair over here. Uh, no one, dearest, no one at all. Oh, Donna, sometimes I swear you're such an odd duck. Perhaps, perhaps I am. Only tell me that you still love me, darling. Mm, darling. Mm -hmm. Who the devil can that be at this ungodly hour? Who is right? There appears to be some sort of solicitor at the door. On a fucking Saturday morning? No, no, please. Is all this really necessary? No breakfast day service. Donald? Big gun. Donald? <laughs> What? Uh, good morning, sir. I'm from the Gun Elimination Legislation Activists for Total International Neutrality. You want to run that mouthful by me one more time, pal? Good morning, sir. No, just the name. Gun Elimination Legislation Activists for Total International Neutrality. Gelatin. You're from something called gelatin? Hello. Uh, please forgive me. Honey, husband. this is the man from Gelatin. Hi. Uh, actually, there's an F in there someplace. All right, or maybe there's there's not. Sometimes he just gets carried away. Carried away? You know, this is why I go door to door. What you blubbering, I, you I big baby? It wasn't like even loaded, see? You, you could have shot her. Oh, wake up, pal. A man has got a constitutional right to hunt with a weapon That's of his choice. enough. I am sure that this fine young man has heard absolutely all the NRA rhetoric we should see him. That's right, Lily. I've heard it all. Well, oh, where were you during Vietnam? I was six years old. Yeah, likely excuse. That's what I hate about gelatin. It's always full of nuts and fruits. Donald, look at me. 
titties these are wrinkles mm. and they are caused by stress and do you know what causes stress having your husband point a gun at your head that is what causes stress yourself today. Snap out of it. Snap out of it? That's your answer to everything. Snap out of it. Well, I have no time to argue. I'm already late for the gun club. Don't even think about lighting a cigarette in this house. Really? Why? Because. Because why? Because the smoke dulls my hair. That's why. Don't smoke cigarettes. Don't point guns at my head. You know, my God, Judy, you were standing right there, and I still don't think you get it. You can't let the whole world into your living room anymore. You can't even open the fucking door anymore. And if you do, I'm telling you, you better be ready. And this, this, my dear, is being ready. I'm off now. Lock the door behind me. Cheerio. Ta -ta. Goes out, then, folks. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, not again. Yes? Hi. I'm from Avatar Cosmetics. We spoke. We did? On the phone. This is, uh... 300 Chatsworth. Well, yes, it is. But I'm afraid I have never heard of Avatar Cosmetics, my good woman. Oh. I see. Should I have? How long have you had that uh, problem with your pores? Uh, I don't know. Pity. Well, I'm sorry I disturbed you. Well, wait a minute. Oh, what if I was interested in purchasing one of your products, say, for my pores. <laughs> Not possible. We have a very select clientele. Well, I could pay you in cash, and then no one else would know. What did your husband do back? Hmm? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> surely a good-looking woman like you has a handsome husband. I do, as a matter of fact. Donald, you won't be home for hours and hours. Plenty of time for a lovely little chat for us, no? Very unusual jewelry you're wearing. Is it Bologna? <laughs> it's junk. No. I I especially like that sparkly one. Oh yeah. Yeah, women with taste usually do. Thank you. It's very beautiful. Yes. You don't mind? No, go ahead. Does nothing for an old bag like me. You know, as I said before, you really are quite beautiful. Thank you. Got a great ass, honey. I like it even better when it's I.
Hey, Judy! July 12th, 1979. Oh, you what church? Faith Calvary. Yeah, what was the name of the minister? Reverend Tenney. How many bridesmaids? Three. Well, who walked you down the my, aisle? My uncle. Yeah, well, where did we spend our honeymoon? The Black Hills. OK. What was the room number of our honeymoon suite? We didn't have a room. We had to spend the night in the car because you forgot to confirm the reservation. Oh, come on. How could you know that? It's me. Judy, I'm, I'm your wife. Donna, Donna, my body was stolen. Um, well, no, just stay right there. Hello. Donna. Yeah. Did you and Judy have a fight today? Uh, no, why? Because she just threw back three gin and tonics, and when I sat down next to her, she told me to go to hell like she knew the way. Where are you? Train station. Listen, man. Your old lady's in one foul mood. Judy is not herself today. The train station, huh? OK, thanks, Joe. Oh, and Joe, um, don't call my wife an old lady. Come on. Where are we going? Just get your coat. OK. Oh, do you think these look good together? I can't let you do it. Oh, you can't well, you run away from it. Don't you see fight. that? Oh. Asshole. Judy, you've got to face up to what the cancer is spreading. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know there's no hope for remission. That it's just a matter of time. Don't spend your last few weeks without me.
this door. Unlock this door, damn it! Unlock it, fucking... You let me out, you... Not so tough now, is she? No! Feel so alive. Just watching you like this. Mommy, you're so afraid. I feel so. I feel so helpless. And yet, so. Do we have to keep it locked up in here? Well, where would you like to keep it? Under your pillow? I mean, we shouldn't even have it here. I tried melting it. I tried crushing it. You can't destroy it. Well, couldn't we just keep it on the vanity or on the nightstand? You know, somewhere we could look at it all the time. No. 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 Babe, you've got a witch buried in your basement. Get a grip on reality.
nightmares must be contagious. What are you doing? I was cold. What, what were you dreaming about? Same thing that's been bothering you, that moldy old bitch we got buried in the basement. You know, I've been thinking maybe I'd dig her up. In the middle of the night? No, not now. I just thought that maybe it would help those nightmares if we buried her someplace else. It'll go away. It just takes time. Really. Mine aren't so bad anymore. You could have fooled me. I'm gonna go get a glass of milk. Jag around front and wait for me. This could get messy. Judy. Yes, Emmy. We don't have a Jag yet, honey. Let me see you pull that quick changer one more time. Donald, be careful. I bruise easily. What? Oh, no. Hmm. Hey. 
first. Arlene. Oh, no, I can't be so. Yeah. I say it is so. Bond. James. Been in our Tebow? No! No! I still think. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. You'll be glad to know that that witch gave up door-to-door -door sales and joined the Peace Corps. <laughs> Poor Donald. You can't really blame him. He was only trying to give his marriage a shot in the arm. And in the leg. And in the head. <laughs> Sometimes I crack myself up. <laughs> Until next time, kiddies. Pleasant screams. <laughs> <laughs>